essentially what I think is very important is to remember is that in life we're all presenters. We teach presentation skills in, in the class for as, as something that they may have to do for the exam or they may have to do to be evaluated, but really in real life we all have to do presentations. What we're asking students to do is no mean feat. Do you understand when I say no mean feat? It means what we're asking them to do is really quite a lot. Because if you look at the CFR level um, B1 here, says can initiate, maintain and close simple face-to-face -face conversations, has enough language to get by with, sufficient vocabulary to express him and herself with some hesitation, and can keep going comprehensively even though pausing for more grammatical and lexical planning. So really we're asking for a certain level of fluency and being able to cope with and have the language to hand in order to make themselves understood. So let's have a look now at some techniques. Um, one of the first things I, te technique I'd like to look at is how, how to structure a presentation. So um, one task I give for students is when they're working on a presentation, give them these three questions that I'd like, and I always say to them, I'd like you to be able to answer these questions. You need to be able to answer these questions in order to have a coherent presentation. First one, why are you making this presentation? Okay, what's the situation? Why are you doing it? What do you want people to learn? What do you, what's the message you want them to take away? And how are you going to make it interesting? So we've looked at um, structuring and we're now going to look at um, opening techniques. Because if the beginning of the presentation is important, then having a good opening technique is important. These are a selection of different techniques. You've got the POW technique, which is really just saying something shocking or making some of the people just sort of really pay attention at the beginning. There's another technique is telling a story, story technique, or you can give them facts and figures with a graph at the beginning, some information about facts and figures, or we can ask them a provocative question or you could have a quote, or we could have an amazing fact. So one thing we could do in class is play around with, with these opening techniques. And you can um, give these techniques to your students and say, look, these are six ways you've got to start off your presentation. So we've looked at structure, we've looked at opening techniques, now we're going to look at signposting language because the person who's giving the talk has done the structure, they know what the different parts of the talk that they're going to give. But what they need to do is to move from one part to the next. For example, now. So that was structure, looking at structure. Now let's look at opening techniques. So it's one way, this is, is one way of connecting what you've just done with something that you're going to do. Um, okay, so we've looked at structure, we've looked at opening techniques, we've looked at signposting language, we're now going to look at tripling. Tripling is something which actually I use or have used with, with university students, so it's actually not suitable for everyone, but if you've got students in or in bachillerato that have got a nice presentation and they want to just make it a bit more exciting or eloquent or they want to start off or finish with something memorable. There's a technique which is called tripling. So for example, I came, I saw, I come. You know, we all remember that, there's three things. How can we help students with the body language? Well, we can make them aware of four key things. Posture to start with, eye contact, expression, and gesture. Okay, and these four things I would, or with my students, I do really hammer it home. I go on about it. Okay, stand up straight. Can you have eye contact with the people that you have in front of you? Think about your expression, smile, use gesture. Again, I think making students aware of this is one thing. Thank you very much for being here and I hope you enjoy your presentation. Thanks.
Well, Sarah, this is great. Thank you very much for this fantastic presentation. I can see that people are very happy with it as well. I think it's been really, really interesting.